Okay, so here's the letter I got from the PUC about smart meters. PUC. Um, yeah, so uh, thanks for taking the time. Your concerns related to PUC is committed to ensure that your customers have safe and reliable utility service rates and, and protecting against fraud. Okay, who's going to defraud me? Uh, I'm not sure, but... And promoting health of Cal California's economy. Nothing about health of Californians, uh, but a California's economy. So we're sort of hung, hung there to support the economy, it seems. Uh, your input is important, but they haven't actually addressed any of my main concerns. My main concern was... Uh, it seems they're violating federal wiretapping laws by monitoring, monitoring the, uh, the household activities and as well uh, viol violating the Americans with Disabilities Act and they're, they're not providing for people who are electronically sensitive to smart meters. Uh, so anyway, beginning uh, the, the C, uh, California Public Utilities Commission authorizes state invest state investor owned utilities I wonder who and who owns it um, to replace the customers meters with smart meters the goal was to enhance the electrical system reliability and give customers information better to better uh, manage their energy no thanks I just turned something off if I don't want to use it uh, I realize people have bigger families, but, um, you know, uh, rather than having RF radiation throughout your household, and the way I look at it is the wiring in the house acts like the uh, antenna on a cell phone tower. Uh, the smart meters do actually radiate uh, frequency out and, and receive and transmit data, just like, trans just like uh, transmitters and cell phone towers. That's my point of view. Uh, just gathered from what I've heard. And let's see. Uh, anyway, uh, give customers information, better, better uh, manage their energy, uh, resulting in cost savings. Now, if I want to use more energy, and regardless of the smart meter, how's that going to cost? You know, is it going to reduce the cost? which eventually is passed to savings to the customers. Uh, nothing to do with their health, but savings theoretically to the customers. And I just don't, there's a kind of a play on words here. If you get it, I don't. And help protect the environment. Oh, how's that help protect the environment? By reducing the need to build additional fossil fuel fire generators to meet the growing energy demands. Uh, what? How's that go with that if I don't want to use it? And how's the meter gonna, you know, help use fo fossil fire generators if I use it anyway? So, I don't know. That paragraph there is kind of Anyway, uh, in addition, smart meters allow the utilities to uh, identify power averages quickly and turn and restore the power on and quickly. Well, the power's out, the power's out. And luckily, I haven't had too many outages, the nothing that's drastic. As a matter of fact, a lot of people sleep a lot more soundly when they don't have utilities running through their house with the AC hum, which is counter frequency to the brainwave frequency. <sighs> okay, but anyway. Um, let's see. Greater, greater. They have greater control of their utilities, and uh, to be able to use their energy more wisely. Uh, every Californian can benefit from the resulting cleaner environment. Okay, cleaner environment. Oh, okay, I'm guilty because I don't have smart meters. I have a dirty. I'm contributing to the dirt of the environment. Oh my God. Okay, because the questions concerning expresses uh, investigating the okay, the PUC investigated the accuracy of PG&E's company installed smart meters. Okay, so they hired a third-party structured group 
third party. Yep. Neutral third party. How can that happen? I don't know. They must be saints. Um, to consult rigorous evaluation of smart meters. Uh, so, uh, the structure group reported that pg e smart meters were operating accurately based on laboratory testing, field meter testing, and end-to-end -end system testing. Uh, what about the health? Okay, although smart meters were found to be accurate, the P, uh, CPUC President Michael PV noted the customers of the public regarding smart meter technology and directed pg e what it was, okay, the skip right over the EMF. I'm not sure if that's really the EMF or not, but uh, the uh, President Michael Peavy noted the concerns of the public regarding smart meter technology and directed PG&E to prepare a proposal that would allow individual customers to opt out. Okay, there's a lot kind of behind the scenes on that paragraph. And so basically they're going to want to charge you to take the old meter out, whatever, dispose of the old meter if you have a, a smart meter already in place. Um, let's see, the decision modifying the uh, smart meter, including opt-out decision. Okay, so we have the opt-out decision. Now, this other part here, let's see. Um, PG&E is allowed to recover the cost. Okay, so CPUC has, a, has determined that PG&E should be allowed to recover the cost uh, for people who opt out. Okay, so I don't know what's going to happen to me because I never had one. Uh, and so well, I don't know what cover okay so they want to recover the costs of having a meter reader come in which they've been doing all these years anyway and I had actually told pg &E I would take pictures of the meter and send it to them and they didn't respond so I don't know anyway it's as many uh, customers also contacted the uh, us about the smart meter radio frequency emissions. We note all such contacts in our database and tabulate them and pass them on to the CPUC's decision makers to review and determine if uh, future action is warranted. Well, what about the scientific data that proves that uh, EMF, uh, RF radiations are harmful? Okay. Regarding the EMF and RF issues, the EMF Safety Network filed an application with the PUC on April 2010 requesting, among other things, a moratorium on smart meters asking the PUC to conduct a study holding hearings, conduct a study and hold hearings on the health effects of EMF and RF emissions. A proceeding uh, 10 4, 18, the public the Utilities Commission rendered the decision denying the application. Okay, quote, I don't get it, but application. The CPUs found that the Commission sees no reason to reopen prior smart meter, prior smart meter decisions to address these alleged health concerns at this time, given the relatively tiny contribution smart meters will make to RF exposure relative to other sources in our environment. Okay, so they've closed their mind as far as it's like a cell phone industry. They've closed their mind to uh, a proper informed consent of the pu to the public about the hazardous effects of RF and EMF radiation. So they closed their comment period, it seems like. And see, no reason to reopen uh, the already decided smart meter issues. Okay, and then the RF exposure relative to other sources, and then when I called the pg &E, they said, oh, well, it's like, dude, if you like to have a cell phone and a microwave, it's like, it don't matter, man. So it's like, no thanks. I only use my cell phone when I have to, and I use the speaker phone uh, and I hold the uh, phone above my head so that this cell phone does not use my head as the antenna. Thank you, please. Um, and I only use it for uh, my work. Uh, it was required by my work to get one. 
And as far as microwaves, no thanks. I don't use one of those either. It's a, it's, it's a matter of personal choice. Whereas smart meters, it seems like, well, if they're there, they're there. You have to use them. So uh, that part, uh, it's like, I don't get it, man. Okay, so interesting uh, note, the uh, science and technology conducted a health could have conducted a study on the health effects of smart reader meter radiation uh, HTTP CCSTUS CCST.US slash forward slash news forward slash 2011 2011 0111 okay interesting to see what that says you know wireless smart meters when installed properly, maintain result in much smaller RF radiation exposure than many existing common hold household electronic devices, particular cell phones and microwave ovens. No, thank you. I hardly use them and try to avoid them. Uh, the federal uh, current Federal Communications Commission standards provides an adequate factor of safety against known health impacts of existing common household electronic devices and smart meters and probably not enough please review this PUC so uh, the PUC provides online subscription service to allow the following particular proceedings such as the application filed uh, let's see by using a subscription service you can Follow the guardian, follow issues regarding smart meters, including the opt out uh, application by PGE. Uh, here's their website CPUC for California.ca.gov. And their phone number is 1 849 8390. And its email is public advisor public.advisor at cpuc.ca.gov so yep please write them and tell them what you think looks like Governor Brown's kind of in control of a lot of this stuff